Hey guys, it's Sharna. Um, I just wanted to come and share my um, thoughts for today on this wonderful Friday evening. Um, I'm a little late with doing my blog, but my video, but I did just want to go ahead and, um, you know, tell you guys something about something that I received today that was just confirmation for me, for me. Um, isn't it great to just to get, you know, a confirmation of something that you've been talking about, that you've been thinking about? Um, and just knowing that, you know, that confirmation was put in your life just for you, just to kind of say, okay, you're on the right track, you're doing the right thing. Well, that's um, what I received today. Because um, all this week I've been talking about just your purpose and how um, to start finding your purpose and start living your purpose and just, you know, having your life encompass your purpose um, and what you're here for and why you're living, you know, on this earth. I'm mean, just encouraging everybody to, you know, figure out and find out and embrace what their purpose is and just take action and start doing it. So today I received uh, a text message, um, you know, from my first lady um, at church. Um, and I don't know, you know, where the uh, text messages come from. It's, called, it's, it's about, it's women of faith based. But, you know, the message in the text is for anybody. Um, it can, it doesn't have to be for just women, but you know, it can be for men, for children, whoever that can receive it and understand it and can apply it. That's, you know, who it's for. But the title of the text message is, um, or the message that I received is follow instructions Friday. And how many people know how hard it is just to follow instructions? I know sometimes I have a hard time following other people's instructions, especially if it's something that I don't want to do, or I don't think that is for me to do. Um, it's hard. It's hard to just, you know, break down and do what you're supposed to do when you're told to do it. And, you know, that's sometimes a lot of our problems come from is just because we don't follow instructions that's put right in front of us um, when, you know, knowing or maybe not knowing that it could lead us in the in the right direction um, and on the right path. So I just wanted to read it to you and hopefully it may be confirmation for you as well because um, maybe you've been struggling with following, you know, instructions and following your purpose and, you know, starting or taking action to, you know, start your journey for living your purpose. So here goes. Follow instructions Friday, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. God has a divine purpose for our, our lives, and nothing in this world happens outside of his will. Our purpose has been planned before we were born, and God does have the big picture. But in his love for us, he allows us to decide whether to accept it or not. That's the free will part. Choose to follow his instructions, for we have his word as our compass and the Holy Spirit as our guide. And if we miss an instruction or deliberately choose our path, finding ability over his, not to worry, he already has contingency plan mapped out to his, to put us back on, on route. Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them, who are the called according to his purpose. So basically it's just saying that, um, you know, even though we don't follow instructions like we should sometimes, um, you know, our purpose is already planned out. We just have to do it. We just have to, you know, follow the steps and go back to maybe step one and finding out what our purpose is. Because like that said, you know, if you believe in God or if you believe in, you know, a higher power, um, you know, that's saying that our purpose is already planned out for us, that we just have to follow the instructions. And if we you know, lead off that path, then we just have to go back, you know, to step one and find our purpose again. So hopefully that encouraged somebody, you know, maybe that's a confirmation for you um, to kind of get you back on the right, you know, path on your journey to finding your purpose and start living it, you know, every day. Um, you know, and maybe, you know, just maybe this might be something that opens your eyes to start living your dream. Um, and if you have, you know, any questions about how I started living my dream and, you know, becoming, you know, part of my purpose and embracing it and just being happy, you know, with doing what I'm doing right now, 
Um, you know, check me out on my blog. It's www.shernamerick.com. Um, or hit me up on Facebook. You know, follow me. Inbox me if you have any questions. Um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. It's facebook.com um, backslash Sherna M. S-H-E-R-N-I-M. I-A-M. So, um, I hope you have a good evening. Remember to live, create, and inspire. Live your life to the fullest. Create new memories to last a lifetime and inspire others to be better than they were the day before. Talk to you soon. Bye.